Dario, 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 let's talk about this. Let's talk about... <laughs> I'm gonna retrieve that later. Hi, my name is Dario Smith. I am a men's personal stylist. I was just asked to describe my style and I don't think I have a good descriptor. Uh, Target. He dresses like if Lurch from the Adams Family got lost in Old Navy. He has like four blue button downs that he wears constantly, like Doug Funny's closet. You open it up and it's just the same shirt. I like blue squares, so like lots of little blue squares. I like a few big blue squares. Really big into blue squares. He almost looks like one big swatch of blue. Blue shoes, blue jeans, blue button down. Keith also always wears the same shoes. It's like every day, same blue shoes. Having clothes for different things was never something that I did. I slept in the clothes that I wore that day. That's just how I grew up. I think I have a pretty good fashion sense. It's getting better. Zach is a little like an old cat lady trapped in a teenage boy's body. Half the time I look at him and I'm like, how is this appropriate clothes for the workplace? I like to allow at least one item in what I'm wearing express a sense of colorful personality. Even though I love his otter shirts, I don't think it's necessarily the sexiest thing you can wear when you're a single guy at a bar. One thing that I think I struggle with is how to mix and match. Zach is a little all over the place. Sometimes he looks really cool, sometimes he looks like a child. I basically just allow the women in my life to dress me. I've never had a stylist. Basically, I've had the same haircut, same kind of style my entire life. Ned's fashion is Steve Corral in The 40-Year-Old Virgin. He's preppy, casual, white guy. I typically like to keep things conservative. I think he likes to have a level of professionalism, so he's very uh, muted. I wear polo shirts almost every day but I guess that's not good enough. I feel like Ned is very close to looking like a dad before he becomes a dad. I get uncomfortable if I wear super flashy or edgy things, cause I'm like, who does that? Well, e Eugene does that. I like to think that I take risks. Overall, I would say I'm a conscientious dresser. Eugene has a great sense of how to marry his personality into different styles. Future sex space ninja. What does Eugene not wear? He wears everything from sweatpants to a full-on suit. We'll talk about what we're wearing and we all agree on a casual look and then he shows up in a fucking suit. If Eugene was a Spice Girl, he'd be posh. I'm just excited to see what part of my personality I have yet to explore through wardrobe. I first start with a consultation. What would you like your clothes to convey about you? Oh man, is that the question you're answering when you put on clothes in the morning? Yes. <laughs> that I have my shit together. The opposite of a hot mess. That I have a sense of adventure. That I'm nice, funny, personable, but also simple. I would love for people to think that I'm cool based on the way I dress. Who would you say is your style icon? I don't know, I have so many. <sighs> David Bowie. Oh gosh. Uh... Will Smith from Fresh Prince. I can't, I honestly I can't think of, I can't think, I don't know. My mom. Or the first person that comes to your mind when you think of a well-dressed guy. Eugene. <laughs> Who would you consider a insecurity of yours when shopping? I have to look at the sizes and then look at the style, mm -hmm. rather than look at the style and then find one in my size. So I feel like beat down by shopping. Honestly, I think a lot of it just comes down to like confidence and I'm put together and I'm fine, but I don't think that my outfit is sexy. The first thing people saw when I was growing up was Asian and there were a lot of negative stereotypes. What my mother could control about how people perceived us was through fashion. My biggest insecurity is that I don't like wearing things that are outside the box too much. Honestly, Dario, most of the items in my closet I don't like. How about we go look at your closet now then? How about it? We then go through a closet purge. You wanna see my closet? Yeah, let's see what we got here. These are all of my clothes, but these are the ones that I wear exclusively. The bulk of what I wear day to day is this. It all matches. <laughs> I would love to see what you consider pieces that you've purchased that you've yet to wear. Oh, wow. Is the shit that you throw up here shit that you wear? No, never. I sometimes wear that one. Damn it, Dario! <laughs> this is not fun! Let's see what else? What else your sock collection. So we're gonna take all of your white socks uh -huh. and dispose. <sighs> what? What? We do have a video from your fiance. I would love for Keith to get more of like a professional looking everyday outfit. He'll have a button down that he really likes, but then he has a super old belt and 
dirty gym shoes. You can definitely have a few more options that help these colors pop so you're not so blue all the time. And I want him to think he's as cute as I think he is. I think you're a really fun guy. I think your clothes don't quite portray that yet. If I find a shirt that I like, I just buy two of them. Monday, Tuesday, ah. Wednesday. When we go out, he'll wear like a blazer, but I have to really encourage him to wear a blazer. Let's move to your suiting. My favorite suit, this uh, dark blue one matched with this pink shirt. He like doesn't go shopping, yeah. and so he just needs more clothing so that like your suits don't feel like a really special thing. Yeah. Do you ever add a pocket square to this outfit? Um, no. No. Um, I almost <laughs> laughed out loud when you said pocket square. Honestly, a lot of the time just end up going back to what I know works. I mean, today is a classic example. I didn't want to think about my outfit. Do you feel like you sometimes just throw things together? By your tone, I think you think I do. <laughs> Why does your outfit now work? Fuck, Dario, that's a good question. All right, so my basic is just like, all right, making sure things don't clash. What would be your version of clashing? The, the outfit you told me that worked. That would be clash. Why would yeah, that be clashing? Like, these are like both kind of red. Do you think your hat clashes with your outfit? No. Why? Because I think that... Uh, I think you have a lot of great options. Yeah. Um, it's just a matter of pairing those to where they're most effective. To help you get dress a little faster and a little easier in the morning is having a bit of rhyme and reason to your wardrobe. Yeah, this drawer's a nightmare. It takes me forever to find a matching sock. Here I have the underwear, here I have ankle socks, here I have workout socks, and over here are all my dress socks. They're definitely items I've bought that I don't wear often because I'm maybe a little self-conscious about it being too editorial looking. A lot of people maybe have had the fortune of kind of going through life not necessarily thinking about how they look, so every choice I've made with clothes has led to this point of seeming like a confident person. Your confidence is pretty much what sells your outfit. Your outfit doesn't sell your confidence. I am ready though to see how I look like in something that's not safely fashionable. Something more avant-garde and a little bit more androgynous. Yeah, that would be totally new to me. So I think we've thrown out about half of your closet now. Yeah. I would wow. say we start shopping. Don't worry, you're in my hands. I promise I'll take care of you. Okay. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. I love it. <laughs> From the closet purge and consultation, I was able to develop a look that I felt they were confident in, but a more stylish version of themselves. Fashion is an art form. Dealing with apparel, your style is how you marry that fashion with your personality. Whoa! He looks like more powerful when he walks. Keith never wears sweaters. Where have these yeah. shoes come from? Those socks are not white. I'd let you marry my daughter. I love that jacket. Mm -hmm. That suit jacket is basically his shirt elevated. Yeah. That's right. He actually looks like a host now. Bob Barker me all over. He looks like a Kendall. I'd dress yeah. you up and put you in my dream house. Okay. Yeah. It's all he's ever dreamed of. I want these clothes. He doesn't look single as fuck, he looks hot as fuck. I've never seen Zach look that hard. Like, I'm a little intimidated. Oh yeah, I wouldn't talk to him. He's too cool for me. He's too exactly. cool for me. I'd never see Zach in anything but the same glasses. He's the bad boy. He's the, the bad, bad boy. boy. You're, such, you're the you're bad boy! Look at you! No, no, don't, don't, no, don't do that. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There, better. Oh, that tie is beautiful. I love the little touches of red and the pocket square. It's really vibrant. Now he looks like an Edward. Yeah. Before, Ned looked like he was on a boat, but now he owns the boat. He owns the entire fucking marina. This feels like something he could wear to work for sure. Sorry, ladies, he's taken. It is worth pointing out he's kind of dressed like Eugene. Actually, I think he's dressed better than me. I'm 
confused, but it's working on me. Is that a lady's skirt? Well, it's just a skirt. Well, now it's a men's skirt. This is like how we're all gonna be dressing 100 years from now, yeah. but I'm not there yet. But I'll be honest that it's not a stretch in my imagination to see Eugene wearing this. You're saying that this isn't avant-garde enough? This is not avant-garde enough for Eugene. We can go harder. Let's go harder. This is awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, yes! Wow. Yes! Slay! You look like an anime character. Like a future Western detective. I've never seen you attempt something it like actually, this. There's a whole sheep on this man. Look at that coat. It takes so much confidence to be able to pull that off. He exhibits a power. Clothes almost became therapy for us. I was a little bit afraid of what I would end up looking like. What a hot nerd. It's like dapper, but it's totally still casual. The shoes that Keith is wearing, he actually already owned, which looks really you own good these? on him. Yeah. Why don't you wear them more often? Because they outclassed all of my other clothes. <laughs> Apparently I already have enough clothes to make a good outfit in my closet. I just didn't know how to piece them together. Guys, I think I want better socks. Yeah. I want better socks. After seeing this, I'm much more inclined to try to look like this all the time because it looks really good and it really isn't that much more difficult. Look at the new you. Fuck. I feel way cooler and sexier. As in, I'd fuck me. Yeah, I'm miserable thinking about having to dress myself tomorrow. Would a Snoopy watch go well or would it ruin the whole thing? Coco Chanel quote, before you leave the house, take one thing off. This is the first time I've seen you wear your Yeezys and they actually match your whole outfit. Yeah. yeah. What I don't, what are, why are, why are, what are Yeezys? Now my personality is the quirk, as opposed to wearing the quirk. It's amazing to me how clothes can change the way people perceive you so dramatically. Well, look how stylish I am. Hi, my name's Edward. Man, I need to join the sales team. <laughs> you know, look at this, look at this. Wearing a pocket square, but I love it. I am a guy that's really on top of my shit, and so my wardrobe should reflect that. Ned had actually been buying the wrong size suit. I've been buying things too big for years. Made my butt look good. Yeah. yeah. I want to get married to you now. <laughs> oh, well, my wife would think I look freaking hot right now. It was tough at first to be critical of my own style, but I feel like I've emerged looking like the best version of myself. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. I feel great. I feel like it's invigorating this side of me, which is really creative, really weird. What even is this? That is actually a jumpsuit zipped up halfway and then tied around your waist. You look like a deleted scene from Cowboy Bebop. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. You're welcome. I think I went into this being complacent. You have to keep challenging yourself and seeing how parts of your personal growth are reflected through your style growth. I just turned and I almost for a second didn't recognize my friends. <laughs> Everyone here now looks like fashion models.